Christmas is now less than nine days away. Yes, you heard that correctly. There's now just one weekend left until Christmas. And with time running out, experts expect big spending in the coming days, more so than in past years. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima checked in with shoppers, and she joins us with more from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. A recent survey found the average American will spend $1,500 this holiday season. And despite a rise in online shopping, plenty of people are still choosing to visit traditional brick and mortar stores. The countdown is on. Christmas is just over a week away, which means stores will be filling up as bank accounts empty out. Just looking for some final touch up gifts. Um, Looking for some um, sports items, maybe uh, a couple things for my mother. Christopher Carlson was one of the first shoppers through the doors at the Warwick Mall on Sunday. He's ahead of the game, nearly finished with his Christmas shopping. Doing very well, actually. I probably got about 85 to 90 percent of it done. A recent survey by Forrester Analytics found the average consumer will spend $1,536 this holiday season. That's up $300 from last year. Deloitte's consumer survey showed online shopping continues to grow and is expected to account for 57% of all purchases. But plenty of people still choose to shop in person. A little bit of both. A lot of online shopping, sure, but also some store stuff. I like to touch it, see it, that type of thing. I know a lot of people don't like to do that these days. A lot of people like to shop online, but um, I prefer to go out and, and get the things if I can. So no matter how you choose to buy your gifts, just know time is ticking. Hopefully everyone can get their shopping done on time. Not to, not wait till the last day, you know, Christmas Eve. And if my report started to stress you out over how much shopping you still have left to do, don't panic. Plenty of places like here at the Warwick Mall are offering extended holiday hours now through Christmas Day. Reporting in Warwick, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.